I think I'm in focus. Ah. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a February favorites video. Um, this isn't a video topic that I do very often just because um, because I tend to forget. Let's just be honest. I forget all the time and before I know it it's already like one week into the next month and I'm like oh, it's too late to do a favorites video. So hopefully I'll be getting this video out before February ends, which I probably haven't because it's already like the 29th. <sighs> anyway, if you guys like this makeup look I'm wearing today, then please make sure you subscribe because it's going to be in my next video, so do check that out. Anyways, I'm just going to hop right into it. So these are my favorite things I have been enjoying for the month of February. First, starting off with skincare. Okay, so February has been a big month for me trying out new things and one of the first things that I absolutely fell in love with and must have had or must had must have felt like I must have was the Bioderma um, micellar water. Um, I've heard a lot about this. This really isn't a new thing to anyone because everyone loves this product. But for me, I just never have been someone who wanted to commit to buying a water for your face but for me i found that this was perfect for the mornings or days that i weren't wearing that i wasn't wearing any makeup because i didn't really need that full cleansing method going on my face i just needed to wipe off and refresh and this actually surprisingly helped me a lot with my um, breakouts i was having it just really really helped so using it on in the morning and then using it for days I didn't wear makeup was perfect and then also using it as a toner after I cleansed was really really good for my skin so definitely recommend this to anyone who hasn't tried it yet like I even got the jumbo size that's how well it worked for me next is a new product that is launching on March 10th and it is the brand new cream from Claire's and it is the Claire's midnight blue calming cream um, this cream does exactly what it says. It's meant to be used at night as a night cream and it is meant to calm and heal the skin. So anyone who has a lot of redness on the skin, irritation, or someone even with like a lot of acne or acne issues, this is like an amazing cream for your skin. It just really calms everything down. It makes your skin feel so much better. It gets rid of redness and it just works like it's supposed to work so i've actually been enjoying this more than the claire's rich moist soothing cream which i've showed in previous videos of mine and it's kind of become a replacement because i only use the claire's rich moist soothing cream at night anyway and this has just it's just replaced it and i really like the fact that the cream is a natural blue color and that is because of the ingredient i think it's the japonic ingredient in it that makes it blue I can't remember but I just love it so much and to be honest I feel like it's better than the Tatcha blue healing cream I found that cream to be way too rich for my skin even as a night cream and this is just like the perfect night cream for someone with sensitive combination dry acne prone skin just love it speaking of Tatcha a product that I have been in love with during the past two weeks or half of February has been the Tatcha Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. So this cream is designed for people with combination skin and it's supposed to be like an anti-aging or a getting into anti-aging cream for people with sensitive combination skin like I just said. Um, I find it to be really great at night and day because it doesn't leave like an oily finish on the skin so it's great under makeup or on its own and it just really calms down my skin it helps like soothe my acne so when I'm having like all these breakouts that I can't seem to control lately um, it's just really done a lot to really calm them down and keep my skin healthy and not cracking or red and irritated so I've really been loving this cream just oh, I love it so much it just feels so great the only downside though is that this cream is really expensive, especially for the size I have here. I think it retails at like $120, which is just a little too much. Next to do with moisture is the new Coserex uh, lotion, the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap. So this is a new launch from um, 
coaster x and it's only exclusive to wish trend right now and the whole concept behind it is that it's supposed to be ideal for people who use aha and bha acids on their skin so people with acne prone skin who are currently in the midst of treating it and this lotion is especially ideal for the daytime which is when i have been using it every day so i use it on the daytime one to three pumps usually is enough depending on how moisturized or how dry my skin is and it really just feels like a cooling layer of moisture is just being like pulled over your skin doesn't break me out and it's really helped to give the hydration and moisture my skin needs without being like too heavy so i really really like this it's done a lot to help my skin since i've gotten it so i definitely been loving this for the month of February. Then talking about acne, another thing that I have not mentioned in any of my videos before, but I have been loving for more than just February, but I've been using it a lot in February, is Voltaren Cream. And you may be wondering why are you putting a muscle anti-inflammatory on your face? Well, let me give you guys a little lowdown on why I use this on my face. So anti-inflammatory gel, inflammation of the skin, acne, anti-inflammatory. You can put two and two together. It basically makes pimples disappear without drying them out and without burning your skin. I freaking love this stuff. I actually started using it when I went to Korea and I was using a Korean version. Well, no, first I started using this, but then you couldn't get this in Korea. So then I started using a Korean one. Then I came back to Canada and started using this again. And it's just amazing. Like for anyone that suffers from like inflammation or people who get like hyperpigmentation on their skin after they get a pimple, start using this. Honestly, it really helps save your skin. It helps make breakouts go away just go flat overnight and it helps prevent um you getting that inflammation pigmentation after your pimple goes away like for me i don't like if i get a pimple i don't have to touch it and i'll still get a scar like it's just ridiculous so this really helps a lot with my skin issues um i actually have a blog post on it and why it's so good so do check that out if you want to learn why i use this on my pimples okay so moving on to makeup um first thing is a lip product and it is the face shop lip tint stick in the lightest shade o2 or i guess it's not the lightest shade or is it I don't know but it's this one right here and basically it is a lip balm lip tint so it gives you a nice like um tinted look on the lips while still being really moisturizing and hydrating and it doesn't transfer its stains so i love this i've been using it anytime i've gone out just to give me that little bit of pop of color that i need if i'm not really wearing any makeup and it's just so easy so simple and it really is good if you're someone with dry lips like me another thing that i've been loving for the month of february as you guys may have noticed is the anastasia beverly hills brow whiz pencil in taupe um i'm a little bit late to the trends just because i couldn't get this in korea but ever since i came back once i was able to go to sephora and get it i have been in love i've been obsessed i haven't stopped using it it's the only thing i use on my eyebrows and if you haven't tried yet yeah, definitely check it out because you literally can draw individual hairs with this and I have never been able to truly say that before with a brow product until now so definitely check it out it is totally worth the $20 to get then keeping up with the eyes another thing that I've been loving during February has been the Sailor Moon liquid eyeliner pen I know this has probably been in one of my favorite videos before but that's just because it's amazing like it actually is a really good liquid eyeliner pen it's waterproof but not too waterproof it's extremely pigmented and the brush just draws on so easily you can create thick lines or very 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 thin lines it is just amazing and plus the fact that it is a sailor moon merchandise just makes it a collectible and makes you want to have it just because of the fact that it's sailor moon and like i have the crescent moon wands it's just I don't even know what more I need to say about this. Just, it's awesome, you should buy it. And then last but not least for makeup is ones that I have been obsessed with um, that you guys haven't really seen on my videos yet, but it is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick um, products. I literally have like four, I have five or six of these now because ever since I got my first two, I have just been obsessed and I was like, I need to have all these colors. I have not tried a liquid lipstick as good as these yet. I've had the Stilla, I've gone into the Beauty Boutique, I've tried the Lise Watche, the... 
Like I've just tried all the other liquid lipsticks except the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones or the new Tarte ones, but this is by far the best formula I have ever used on my lips. It lasts all day, it doesn't budge, it doesn't come off unless you eat something oily. You can drink through it, everything. It stays on and it doesn't make your lips look really shitty. <laughs> or really crappy. I do recommend exfoliating your lips before using it just because it clings so well, but otherwise it is amazing and the colors are so good. Um, right now I have Celebrity Skin on, which is this one right here, and it is to die for. Just to, just amazing and they actually mix well pretty good so I'm gonna be getting more it's just like they're always sold out I loved it so much that I even bookmarked the day on my phone that it was gonna come out for androgyny and I set an alarm to wake up on time and I just kept refreshing the page refreshing the page till it came back in stock and bought it as fast as I could I actually had another color in my cart but while I was checking out it sold out so it like cut me off during checkout to tell me that like it went out of stock while I was going to pay for it. Crazy, right? You guys like highly recommend it. Buy it all if you're into lip colors that last forever because this stuff is like pure magic on your lips. Okay, so off topic from makeup and beauty, I'm actually going to go into things I've been enjoying during February. And number one is Final Fantasy FFXIV, the online version. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, it is what I do in my free time when I'm supposed to be filming videos is playing that game. In fact, I was even playing it this morning and I had to tell myself, no, you're going to film some videos. Um, I've been playing it since I've been back home, I've been loving it every month, been loving it again this month. So if any of you guys are into online games or have the money to play online games then do check it out it's addicting oh and i'm in the diablos world server if anyone's wondering okay next i'm going to be talking about a topic that i don't mention in my videos and that is my favorite um mangas for the month of february so i usually read my mangas on my phone at night when i'm trying to fall asleep or if i'm just really really bored and just want to read i go through that so for the month of february i burned through one of these uh, mangas and one of them i read the whole thing through i would think i read 50 chapters because it's still an ongoing manga was Taiyo no I, I think that's how you say it. I'm not very good, but basically it's a story about um, a girl who like is having some family issues. She's a high school girl. I can't really relate that much, but she's having some family issues and she gets like a stepmama has to move out of her house. Well, she doesn't have to, but she chooses to. And one of her childhood friends who she grew up with, who is like 10 years older than her or something, says she can move in and live with him since she's having such a hard time and of course you know they grew up together their childhood friends they don't see each other in that way but while they're living together a sweet romance develops so if you guys are into sojo mangas and an exhilarating innocent romance that doesn't have like pervy stuff in it definitely check out this manga i'll link the name down below so you guys can look it up really good really warms your heart and makes you feel good oh Another one that I burned through, there was one other manga that I burned completely through through February was the manga called Norigami or Noregami. Yeah, Noregami. And this manga was super good. It wasn't much of a sojo. I think it was so like kind of sojo-y and shonen. And it was just really, really good. It's kind of about like um, gods and then like a girl who can like kind of bounce into the god realm. It's really good. You guys should check it out. I swear you'll enjoy it. It's got romance, but not too much romance and action and kind of fantasy. Anyway, it's really good. Really enjoyed reading this um, before going to bed or just like reading it for hours. So definitely check it out. Anyway, that's it for my February favorites. Those are the things that I loved during this month. Um, let me know what you guys think below if there's any products or anything that I mentioned in this video that you guys also liked during February or like in general. Let me know and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these and I will see you guys next time. Bye!